welcome back. This is the last episode of Frog in Hand's Improvisation Masterclass. I'm Caitlin Seibold. And I'm Zachary Vasti. Improvisation is extremely popular in contemporary dance. Very often, the choreographer will ask dancers to improvise during a piece, sometimes following a certain task or using vocabulary and movements that are already established in the piece. As a choreographer, um, improvisation is also a great device to create phrases and set patterns of movement in the piece. This is why um, today we're going to introduce to you techniques and exercises that you can use to bridge that gap between improvisation and choreographed work. This exercise is entitled Three Movements. We're going to create a phrase of movement based off of three instinctual movements that we create with our body. Take a moment, get comfortable with your space. Shake anything out that you need to. And we're gonna start with our first impulse movement. And Zach, movement one. Nice. Second movement. And movement three. Awesome. Now we're gonna try repeating those three movements that we just created. Movement one, movement two, and movement three. Now that we're comfortable with our three movements, we're gonna try manipulating them a little bit. Thinking about speed, thinking about texture, tones, shapes, directions, how can we make this movement more interesting? Playing with the quality and thinking about all of the things that we were talking about in our previous exercises. We can continue on this pattern to create a longer phrase of choreography. Let's look at Zach's first phrase and see what's become. Nice. So from that ending position, we're going to go ahead and add three more movements. Movement one. Movement two. Movement three. Nice. We're going to back it up and try that again, starting from the beginning. Beautiful. Three movements is an exercise where you create choreography from your initial instincts. It's a very practical and productive exercise when you want to create choreography on the spot or with a short window of time. If you don't like a movement, you can always go back and change it, but it's useful to already have a phrase established when modifying depending on what the sequence needs. This technique works great for all levels of experience. Just keep adding on to the phrase and see where it leads you. It's now time for you to pause the video and try this exercise out for yourself. Find a space where you're able to move freely and safely. This second exercise is a bit more complex, but it's great for avoiding repetition and to surprise yourself and your audience. Um, once again, we're gonna demonstrate and then you can give it a try out for yourself. This next exercise is entitled First Choice, Second Choice. You will begin this exercise starting at the back of your space. This exercise will travel forward, so make sure you have enough space. You will first say first choice out loud while envisioning yourself moving from your first instinct. You will then say out loud second choice and you will physicalize your second instinctual movement. You will repeat this pattern until you reach the end of your space. First choice. Second choice. First choice. Second choice. First choice, second choice, first choice, second choice, first choice, 
second choice. This exercise is a little trickier and recommended for more advanced movers or dancers. It can challenge your initial instincts, break repetition or patterns in your movement, and is a useful tool for developing or creating unusual movement or choreography. It's now time for you to pause the video and try this exercise out for yourself. Find a space where you're able to move freely and safely. Great, now that you have these tools, you can create your own choreography. Put on a tune, try some things out, see what works, and see where you block, and don't hesitate to use the tips we gave you to create a dance that's truly yours. When you're experimenting with the music, make sure to try out different styles and accents and emphasis on your movement. I hope that these videos have helped you in any way and that you'll continue to explore improvisation and ways to express your movement and express yourself through movement. While we got you here, why not have a look at the other masterclasses offered by the Frog in Hand Summer Company and leave a feedback in the comments down below. This was Caitlin Seibold. And Zachary Bastille. Bye now.